Welcome back to Sports by GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Jeremy Lapidus. Today is Wednesday, November 20th. If you were just tuning in, we just finished going over the NBA power rankings. The Celtics back on top for the first time since the first week of the season. In this segment, we turn our attention back to college football. A playoff committee has just come out with their third rankings of the season. We'll go from 25 to 1, talk about what I like, what I don't like about it, and where I think they were absolutely right and wrong. But before we get into that, remember, if you would like to be an even bigger part of the show than you already are, all you need to do is go to gsmcpodcast.net. Or if you are on YouTube, you can use that Super Chat feature. If you do either of those two things, a message should pop up on the bottom of the screen for you, me, and everybody else around the world to see. If you do have a burning question about sports, anything at all that you would like to ask, go ahead and throw that in the comments. Throw it in the chat. I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. I appreciate everybody so much for sticking around, talking some sports with me here on a beautiful Wednesday, November 20th. But like I was saying, we're going to get into the college football playoffs. It has been a bit, it's been a week actually, since they came out with their last one. And the last one, I thought honestly was pretty good. In this one, we're going to go 25 to 1 from their rankings, tell you whether or not I agree with it. And we're we're going to start off with a couple of them that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of. Number 25, 23, and 22, Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa State. I understand having a team like Iowa State in there. I even understand having a team like Mizzou in there. But to rank them over some of these, to rank them over, I guess, a couple teams uh, that that were left out, I don't think Illinois really deserves to be in there. They haven't beaten anybody huge all season. All Everyone that they've played that really means much has uh, kind of kicked them out. UNLV, I like UNLV. I think they're a team that maybe should be ranked, but they did lose to a Syracuse team that's not ranked, and I think Syracuse deserves to be ranked as long as UNLV is ranked. At 24, I don't think Missouri deserves to be ranked at all. That's been an issue I've had all uh, since all of these rankings came out. They didn't move. Iowa State, I'm fine with. The first one that I really love and one that I think should get a little more love, at 21 and 20, Arizona State and Tulane. Both of those teams, I think, deserve a little more love than they're getting right now. Arizona State has played a really, really tough schedule this season, and they deserve to be higher ranked than an Army team. At least they're the highest ranked uh, non—excuse me. They're the highest ranked team that previously wasn't rated. Big fan of that, but still would like to see them a little bit higher. Tulane, another team I'd like to see a little bit higher. A group of five team, arguably the best group of five team. I definitely think they're better than Army. Army, who's ranked one ahead of them in the American. Those two are the teams that will be playing for the American title. Maybe that game will decide who gets in out of the group of five. Uh, Continuing up this list, South Carolina and Clemson are back-to-back. I think South Carolina is a better team than Clemson. Their resume speaks volumes ahead of them, and I think they should be uh, at least one spot ahead of them there. Colorado at 16, I think deserves a little bit more love. I'm a big fan of this Colorado team. What Deion Sanders, what Coach Prime has done down there, is not getting, I won't say enough coverage, but not getting enough love. They're getting plenty of coverage over there. It's Deion Sanders. Uh, Texas A&M at 15. I don't have any issues with. This is where my first huge issue comes in, and it's the ranking of 13, 14, and 12, right? Uh, 12 is Boise State. That's fine. I like this Boise State squad. They get a huge win, a huge kind of comeback win. I don't mind them being at 12. My concern is between SMU and BYU, we saw that game. We saw what happens when they played each other. BYU won that game. And I know you can't respect head-to-head 100% of the time. I know you can't. But when you're taking a look at directly next to each other, these two teams, especially when it doesn't conflict with other things, you simply cannot put SMU right ahead of BYU. BYU is a team that straight up beat them in week one of the season. And now you have it so that SMU is just one spot ahead. I understand if SMU is two spots ahead, that's fine. But one spot, you have to you have to fix that. You have to flip them. That's my big problem there. Eleven is Tennessee, and they're the first team out based on uh, that playoff bracket. Tennessee is that fifth SEC squad, and you can make your arguments uh, talking all about hey. 
there should be five SEC schools in. The only way that's going to happen is if a Notre Dame loses, because uh, you're not getting a team like you're not getting one of those Big Ten teams out. I don't think there's still chaos going on. We don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks in college football. But as it stands right now, I think they got the right SEC team out. Tennessee is the odd man out for me in my rankings, and I think they made the right decision by making Tennessee that odd SEC team out. But what this also means is that Boise State has a first round buy. Boise State, a group of five school, and I'm a big proponent of the group of five. I love the group of five. I went to James Madison, one of the top group of five programs. If you can get group of five love, give me all the group of five love, right? Huge fan of that. But to put them as the number four seed and getting the buy, I think does throw a little bit into question. I think even though the Big 12 has kind of cannibalized itself. If you were being real with yourself and you put Colorado on the same field as Boise State, do you really think Boise State would win that game? I think Colorado is the best team in the Big 12, which is why I say Colorado and not BYU. I understand. I think that Boise State-BYU game would definitely be close, but I think Colorado definitely beats definitely beats Boise State and because of that, I can't I can't sit here and say I agree with that with the Mountain West champion getting that 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 buy. That's just uh, that's just me though. I know it it, it sounds kind of power power four ish over there. That's just how it goes in this sport. There's a reason that there there's a power that there's a power conference. There's a reason that this is how it goes. And I'm not trying to hate on Boise State at all. I think it's super cool that they're getting that buy, that the playoff committee is admitting, hey, maybe it doesn't just have to be the power four that get the top five seat. That is ridic- that, that that is super cool and fun to see. But also when you take an objective step back, you can't just sit here and say that yes, Boise State, that's the one. That's the one that is unmistakably better than any uh, anybody in the in anybody in the Big Twelve, and that's my that's my biggest gripe with this. Outside of it, I thought they did a pretty good job. The top five stayed the same. I'm perfectly fine with that. Notre Dame up to six. Obviously, that huge blemish on their record coming against NIU is not very pretty, but still a very good football team. You have that SEC jumble with Alabama, Ole Miss, Georgia, and Tennessee, where you have Alabama out on top. I don't necessarily mind that. They obviously have the head-to-head over Georgia. Uh, You've got Miami in there in the middle. I don't. I kind of like these rankings, especially the especially the top five, top ten. I don't mind it. I think they got the right teams in the playoffs. I just don't love the order right now. We will see how much changes. For now, the first two teams out, SMU the second team out once again, and that fifth SEC school is the first team out. This time it's number 11, Tennessee. Chaos will continue to go, and I know everyone in the SEC wants there to be five teams, and you can make a good argument for why there should be five teams. I still don't think it should be. I think they have the right number from the conference as it stands right now, 4-4, and then the other three spots spots split between two auto bids and uh, three auto bids, I should say, and one independent. I think that's the right way to do it, but that's just me. Not the worst rankings, not the best rankings. I have my issues with it, but I think overall they're on the right they're they're on the right path. But let me know what you thought of the college football playoff rankings. I'd love to hear your thoughts. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we turn our attention back to the NBA. An historic night last night for multiple players, multiple teams. We'll talk about what all of those were, as well as the other history that's been made around the league earlier this week. Stick around for that. We'll be right back here on Sports by GSMC Podcast Network. <laughs> 